So we had a great study on our live today. We do a live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 12 or 1230. And we talked about, um, today is Tuesday, so we do What's Wrong with the Bible. Uh, and we're in Deuteronomy 3 and 4. And some of the interesting notes as far as Deuteronomy 3 and 4 were concerned is the fact that, you know, according to your Bible, the Noah flood story, the only Noah and his children were able to survive this flood story and his wife. But yet, giants were all supposed to have been destroyed. Now, many Christians will go into the idea that there was a second incursion, or they will go into the idea that there were Nephilim bloodlines inside of the wives of Noah's three sons. But we also discuss how in the chapter four, it talked about the king Og of Bashan and how the king of Bashan, Og, was a giant. Now, we know that the books of Enoch were very well read and very well accepted at the time frame that the Bible was created or the, the Deuteronomy was written. And so many elements of Enoch you will find within your Bible, which should make you say, why isn't the book of Enoch part of your book? If so many references from it. And what's one of those references? The uh, King Og of Bashan. According to the book of Enoch, when it talks about the flood story in the first book of Enoch, it says that there were two things that could not fit inside of the ark. One was a ream, which then Noah tied it from the back end of the ark and it ran behind the ark. I don't know what a ream is, but how is a ream running behind the ark on water? That's amazing, right? But the other said that the that Og, king of Bashan, was too large, so he sat on he was tied down and sat on top of the ark, and Noah would feed him during the time frame that he was on the ark. So according to the books of Enoch, book number one of Enoch, not only was it Noah and his children, but it was also King Og of Bashan. Now, how did King Og of Bashan then live long enough and have children to create his kingdom that then Moses went and killed Moses and his troops went and killed them and not only did he kill them but as we talked about in the previous chapter of two of chapter two of Deuteronomy how they also killed all the men they killed all the women and they specifically say they killed all the children so the next time somebody tries to say that this guy does not promote genocide he says that over 60 cities and rural areas of the king of Bashan's area that they genocided all those people in the same way they did the king of Sion, that they genocided all those people. That is one of the things that we discussed in detail as far as the live that, that was done today of how can you call this God a loving God when he genocides children? What did the children have to do with any of it? And then even further, we we also discussed how he said that all these laws of Deuteronomy, which the word Deuteronomy means second law. And but you are supposed to keep all the laws. And even though many Christians will say, well, Jesus came and we don't have to keep the law anymore. It is simply by faith. No, in your New Testament, it says that you're supposed to keep the laws. You're supposed to keep the laws. So. Um, he said he came not to take away from anything from the law. And you're still supposed to keep it. Even when he dealt with the rich young ruler, he first questioned him, Did, have you been keeping the law, the commandments? And he was like, yeah, I kept the commandments. So he still had an expectation that you're supposed to keep the commandments. And yet these people aren't. And then we also discussed which commandment? Commandments. Uh, even though all six, 613 are to be followed, got a question for all my Christians out there. Right? The first Ten Commandments that Moses came down on the mountain, he threw them down and broke them. And those are the ones that y'all put up on your walls and everything. Then went up and got ten different commandments. A couple of them were similar, but the overwhelming majority were different. And those would be the commandments that supposedly is in the Ark of the Covenant. So which of the twenty are y'all are y'all supposed to be paying attention to? Because he had ten destroyed them and then came down with 10 different ones for the most part and those are the and so wouldn't it be the one that's in the ark of the covenant be the more be more the 10 y'all should be putting up on your walls but then again in deuteronomy chapter 4 
it explicitly explains that you're not supposed to make any images of anything human form, male or female, birds, fish, land animals, insects, stars, moon, sun. So all them pictures y'all got up of Jesus, all them doves y'all got, that's idolatry according to Deuteronomy. And it says that you will be punished for your idolatry. Just want to throw that out there. Those are some of the things we discuss. Join us on Tuesdays on our lives uh, here on whatever platform you're looking at because they're on each one of these platforms. Um, of course, Facebook and YouTube, I can see your comments better. So those are the best places to be. But join us on our lives. We also have a live, like I said, on Wednesdays and Thursdays, 12 to 12 o'clock. We usually start around 12, sometimes 1230. And we go for about two to three hours. So if you missed it, you can go back to my YouTube channel, my Facebook channel, and you'll be able to see those lives, uh, see the lives. And if you want to see some of the older, why, what's wrong with the Bible, you just go to my YouTube and there's a playlist for each one of them. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody who was on there. And then, of course, after we do our lesson study, we have like open conversation. So always remember you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey. Good vibrations.